The Phil hosted a rockin' gala at the Kingston Country Club this month. The Plymouth Philharmonic teamed up with Visiting Angels to host a night filled with great food, a silent and live auction, an amusing dance contest, and some other entertaining activities. Pack TV Community News went there to capture all the excitement. <laughs> See, I've always wanted to be on the red carpet doing interviews and I finally have my opportunity here at the Gala of Giving for the Plymouth Philharmonic as well as Visiting Angels and I'm here with music director Stephen Curidanis. Good, Thank you. Very nice. nice to see you, Donna. It's, a, it's, it, it's very exciting. First time that we put these two organizations together to create a, a uniquely wonderful event and it's all to the good, to the community, to music, to those who need and we're going to have a good time doing it. Absolutely, yeah, and it's so wonderful to see you guys working with other organizations. Yeah. You've always done a wonderful job with your outreach programs, with your music programs. Tell me a little bit about working with Visiting Angels and what it means to you personally to be able to help support seniors in our communities. Uh, you know, when we talk about outreach and we talk about education, we always think kids right away, but they both have to extend through, uh, you know, inter intergenerationally in terms of the, the needs of the entire community. Uh, I have to profess that my first hand working with Visiting Angels will be tonight. Our, our hero with the Plymouth Philharmonic is Deb Cox, and she has worked really hard to make sure this collaboration works beautifully, and so far it's been fantastic. I'm here with Deborah Cox, who's the managing director of the Philharmonic. Deborah, this event is absolutely amazing, but it really is all for wonderful cause. Tell me a little bit about the outreach programs for the Philharmonic, which is being supported by this event. Well, as everybody knows, we have fabulous concerts. One of the things I don't think they realize is that we do a lot of tuition-free outreach programs in the schools, the public schools. We have a high school choral consortium that involves seven area high schools that play with, that sing with our orchestra. We also have um, children's choirs, a 130-member children's choir that sings with our orchestra, and all of these are to help bring music to our community and enrich people's lives through music. And the Gala of Giving, tell me how many people are here tonight to help to support you and Visiting Angels. We have about 325 people here and everybody is so excited to support both causes. And we are here at the Gala of Giving and now we're talking to Nate Murray who is the president of Visiting Angels of the South Shore. Now Nate, you have run a fundraiser for the last three years for seniors. Tell me a bit about that and about how you came to work with the Philharmonic. Well, Dancing with the Angels is a fundraiser we started in 2010 to raise money for the Special Needs Emergency Fund for Old Colony and South Shore Elder Services. We provide private home care at Visiting Angels, but we wanted to do something for people who may not be able to access our services. And so we did it in a fun way. Which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, organizations collaborating to support the entire community is amazing. Tell us a little bit more about the Special Needs Emergency Fund for Seniors and what that money does for folks in our communities. Sure, the Special Needs Emergency Fund for Old Colony and South Shore Elder Services provides essentials for elders who cannot afford very basics in life. Things as simple as shoes, prescription medication, a tank of oil. Uh, it it's really can provide things that, that is sort of a, a, a fund that's available available for the things that come up that aren't planned for, that aren't part of a program, that aren't part of a state grant. And for folks who are in need or if people know people in need, they can contact either the Old Colony or the South Shore Elder Services and they don't have to be members. It can be a one-time occasion if, if they have an emergency, they can reach out. That's right. Any citizen in the United States, in, in Massachusetts who's um, eligible, who lives in one of their towns, can apply for the Special Needs Fund. Now tell me a little bit about the dance competition that's happening later. I hear all kinds of excitement and people are getting a little excited and nervous. Well, if you've watched Dancing with the Stars, this is better. This is five teams, all from area organizations, all the amateurs who are going to have a good time and a fun time and try to raise more money for the Special Needs Fund in the film. Um, and now I'd like to introduce our Master of Ceremonies, Matt Vittori. Well, thank you for having me back by popular demand. Even though this doesn't say that, but I think you were thinking it, right, Mary? I'm uh, really glad to be here tonight. Now, just before 8 o'clock, we begin the dance competition with our five amateur teams performing Broadway-inspired dancing. <laughs>
Congratulations. Stop for my baby tonight. And look. The Gala of Giving, a night of sizzling hot dance moves and all kinds of fun, all for a good cause, our community. For PAC-TV Community News, I'm Donna Rodriguez.